guys. I haven't made a video in a while. Today's video is about... It's about um, asking questions about my visual impairment. So, anyways, it's okay for people to ask me um, how much vision I have or is it hard for me to get around, right? So, those questions I find are okay to, for, for people to ask. And it's also okay for people to ask, um, like, um, how do I get around or, you know? And so forth, and it's good for them that to, for people to ask if I read Braille, and it's also okay for people to ask me is it hard being visually impaired? But I don't like it when people ask me stupid questions. Like um, last Sunday, I bumped into this man. Well, I bumped into him I, with my cane. Then I tried to move out of the way to sit and say sorry, but he kept following me. And I and then he and then he chucked my cane. I was like, um, "Excuse me, sir, that wasn't nice." And he's like, "I just want to talk to you for a second. And I'm like, "Okay." Well, this was um, before I went to work. Okay, so that was like half an hour before I started work. I, I talked to him. Like he asked me questions like, um, can, "Like, can you see at all? Do you have any vision or you know?" And stuff like that. But a, a stupid question that he asked me is like. Um, after I mentioned, like, after I mentioned to him that, that I could see a bit of color and stuff like that, and he's, he's asked me, can you see color? Like, you see color by, by touching me. And I'm like, first of all, it doesn't make sense. And the reason why I say it doesn't make sense is because you have to see to know what color is. A blind person can't tell what, what color a person is by touching them. That's, that's really stupid. That's a really stupid question to be asking. I don't like that. And so I'm just like, um, I just felt kind of awkward. And I was just like, I have to go now. Because, like, you know. I didn't want to talk to that man. Like, honestly, I just think he's stupid. Like, honestly, I understand that he's curi curious, but I don't think he realized one of the questions he asked was stupid or didn't make sense. Like, you know, it's okay to be curious, but it's not okay to ask stupid questions. It's like asking a deaf person, um, uh, how do you like this this song? Like, how do you like this kind of music? First of all, music doesn't mean anything to a deaf person. Right? It's like asking a deaf person, can you hear my pitch just by, like, touching, just just by, um, f f uh, feeling the th uh, vibrations of the throat, right? Or whatever it is. Or, right? I, I don't know. It's just... It's like, it, it is, it's simply asking a deaf person if, if, if they can, like, you know, honestly, like, how well do they, how well do I sing? Like, can you, can you like, can you tell that, that how well I sing just by, just by feeling the vibrations of my throat? It's really, it's, it doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? It's really stupid. And I, I don't, I don't appreciate, I don't appreciate like that. It's just, it's not, yeah, it, it really, it really doesn't make any sense. And Yeah. I also don't like it when people ask me personal questions. Like, I've been asked if I was on age by some, by some random woman on the bus. First of all, it's none of her business. Second of all, she doesn't need to know. She doesn't need to know how I pay the bills. It's none of her business. So she needs to lay off. And, like, seriously. Like, if you ever, like, if, if any of you guys, disability or not disability, like, um... Get asked a personal um, a question by a stranger. It's be it's it's best to be polite and say that's um that's personal or I prefer not to answer that. You know, it's not very polite to tell them that's none of their business. It just sounds kind of it just kind it sounds kind of rude. Like you know, it's just it's really none of their business. You know, like. Seriously, I'm, I have a right to privacy just, just like everyone else, right? And people with disabilities, they have, they have a right to um, privacy. No fucking stranger needs, needs to know every fucking detail of their personal lives. Like, you know, sorry for my language. Anyways, that's all for today. And yeah, I hope you have a great Mother's Day.